Let's talk about DeepSeek R1. Every once in a while, an underdog flips the script uh, and a scrapyard contender takes on the giants and redefines all these games. So that's exactly what's happening with DeepSeek R1, a groundbreaking AI model from China, which is doing the same in the world of artificial intelligence. It's a David taking on the Goliaths like OpenAI, Google, uh, and other uh, contenders in AI space, not through brute force, but through ingenuity, uh, openness, as well as some resourcefulness. Yes, calling China a David might be seem ironic. Uh, it's certainly a Goliath in the global stage, but in the world of AI, a deep seek R1 isn't, isn't, is actually an underdog uh, that fits perfectly for it, challenging the tech giants in the US and other parts of the world. How is this possible? How exactly does DeepSeek R1 pull this off on a tighter budget with fewer GPUs? Around $6 million what they have said. In this video, we'll explore three key techniques, chain of thought, which guides the model through problems by step by step, reinforcement learning, which enables continuous improvement through trial and error, uh, and model destination, which is distillation, which is a key thing that packs top tier performance into more accessible hardware. That's how they are able to achieve this. To get, together, all these methods uh, form the backbone of Deep, DeepSeek R1's underdog success story uh, as of Jan 28th, uh, 2025. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ragnar Pitla, a solutions architect at Microsoft. So if you've been following AI, you know the big players, OpenAI with their ChatGPT, Google with Bard, Anthropic with Cloud, and other players in the US. They dominate the headlines, and for good reason, uh, with billions of dollars are being poured into these models and these companies. But today we are talking about the challenger that's rewriting the rulebook of AI innovation. Uh, so DeepSeek R1 was built on a budget of less than $6 million. That's a pocket change in, the, in this field of AI, where we see billions of dollars are being poured into these companies. The crazy part, it's not just about the car cost, to be honest. DeepSeek R1 is proving that innovation isn't about how much you spend. It's about the strategy and the research paper that they have published. Today, we'll unpack this model using techniques like chain of thought, reinforcement learning, and model distillation. Like I mentioned, we'll go in detail in the next sections to compete with these giants. This isn't just another AI model. Also, this is not a small language model as well. Uh, it uses the model distillation to come up with these resources that does not require uh, 671 billion parameters. It can run with 7 billion parameters. I also have a video on small language models, which I'll link below in the comments. Uh, but let's jump into this. What makes DeepSeek R1 so special? Besides all the headlines, let's start with the basic. DeepSeek R1 is an open source language model developed by Chinese team. Open source means anyone can access the code, study it, adapt it, or even improve it. But the buzz here isn't just about openness too, it's about the performance. Not only it's being open, but also the performance are exceeding uh, chat GPT models. Uh, R1 matches or exceeds the capabilities of OpenAS 3.5, Anthropics Cloud, uh, especially in the areas like math, code, and reasoning. And here is the wildest part. We all think that China would have all these GPUs, but they achieved all this without the cutting edge GPUs of NVIDIA or others, or, in, or actually not even having massive server forms or Azure infrastructure behind this. Uh, instead, they optimized every step of the process, proving you don't need a fortune to build something remarkable like this. So let's start with chain of thought, uh, the thinking of an underdog or a dog in my example I'll give slightly below. So one of the deep six star ones standout feature is it, it uses chain of thought reasoning. It's not the only model that's using, but the way it uses here is kind of uh, unique, as well as it's impressive with what they have achieved. Uh, this technique allows the model to think out loud, uh, solving problems step by step, and explaining its reasoning along the way. If you ever want to use it, if you have used our uh, DeepSeek R1, you'll notice it's thinking and it starts sharing all these things, and you can understand its chain of thoughts. Uh, here's an example. Let's say if you want to ask DeepSeek R1, what's 24 divided by 6 multiplied by 3? So you have three steps. 
it doesn't just give you the answer right away. It walks you through the process. First divide 24 by 6 and get 4, then multiply 4 by 3, then the output is going to be 12. So why does this really matter? I know Owen is also doing some thinking and reasoning behind, but this has been a bit more transparent. If you use it, you'll see examples as well. Because most AI models skip the steps like a student blurring out an answer without showing their work. So if you ask me a question, I can give you an answer, but you don't know where I went wrong if I'm wrong. If I'm right, you don't know how I achieved this. But in the most cases, when you're wrong, it's easy. It's important for you to know where did, where did you where did you go wrong. So you have no idea where they went off track as a student. So with chain of thought, the reasoning is transparent, and the mistakes become learning opportunities for you as a student. So this transparency is a game changer, especially in the fields like medicine, law, or education in these industries, where accurate reasoning isn't just about important as, as not important as a result, but also the transparency will help you to find these uh, places where you are wrong uh, and help uh, and make those mistakes into learning opportunities. We can also see this in the DeepSeek R1's paper, where it introduces this approach to enhance the clarity of AI outputs using this chain of thought. Uh, let's look at this example where they say the structure uses special format, uh, like special token, reasoning process, special token again, and then summary. Uh, here's how it can be broken down. The reasoning process, this section contains the step-by-step -step local explanation of reasoning of the model, uh, follows to solve the query. So it will solve the query with the reasoning process. Then the summary, the part that provides a concise summary of reasoning process and, field and, and the final answer. The goal of this format is to make AI reasoning more readable and organized. Uh, by separating the detailed reasoning and the summary, users can easily follow how AI arrived to its conclusion before seeing even the final output. Also, we say open source, but the paper doesn't include an explicit example of how this format is in action. It highlights how this approach addresses some of these issues seen in uh, earlier versions, such as confusing outputs and mixing of languages before. So, but this structured approach, approach ensures that models uh, thought process is both transparent and user friendly. A deep seek R1 chain of thought uh, capability emerged naturally through large language reinforcement learning, allowing the model to explore, develop, explore and also develop some powerful reasoning behaviors. So as I want to explain reinforcement learning, a technique where deep uh, seek R1 really shines. So imagine you're training a dog to do the tricks. You don't, uh, you don't sit them down and explain the steps to roll over. Instead, you guide them by rewarding their process. When they follow your command correctly, boom, you give them a treat. Uh, they get a treat. Over the time, the dog learns that performing each trick and uh, in sequence gives it treats and ends the reward in the end. Here's an an another analogy you can think maybe. All these cars, the Tesla self-driving cars, don't get programmed for every turn or spotlight. Unlike other car manufacturers who can only operate self-driving on highways, Tesla can do it on any road because they actually use reinforcement learning. They learn by driving, making mistakes and improving. And DeepSeek R1 uses the same principle, but for reasoning and problem solving. In the paper, you can see that the research don't program every little step. Instead, they set up a set up a system where AI gets rewarded for making better decisions. For example, if DeepSeek R1 solves a logical puzzle or writes a cleaner code, uh, it receives a reinforcement award, making how making it like uh, let's say you have a warehouse robot that learns to optimize its path by navigating different routes and avoiding obstructions to minimize the travel time. The robot continuously refines the strategy strategy by reducing amount of energy used in terms of getting to a destination or finding a, a different path. So similarly, DeepSeek R1 identifies which techniques yield the highest reward, which means what's the biggest weight uh, to, the, uh, to the output that they can come and matches that criteria to get it as a reward and adapts accordingly. Now let's compare um, DeepSeek R1's reinforcement learning approach to the OpenAI's O1 model. While Owen's accuracy remains uh, largely static across the graph that you see here, DeepSeq R1 steadily refines the performance as illustrated in this benchmark graph from the paper. Uh, both start at a similar accuracy level, but thanks to reinforcement learning, DeepSeq R1 eventually surpasses Owen, uh, inching closer to near-perfect accuracy with each training cycle. 
But this is not the end of all. The main thing how DeepSeq R1 is able to achieve all of this with less GPUs is model distillation. The master or teacher and student apprentice model uh, where you can see how model distillation helped DeepSeq R1 to be more efficient and more effective. Here's how it works. Start with a massive complex AI model, the master. The model knows everything, but it's expensive to run. Uh, this is the 651 billion parameter model, the DeepSeq R1 that has. And then train a smaller model, the apprentice, to mimic the master. Uh, the result, a compact and efficient model that delivers nearly the same performance. This means they can run efficiently on more most modern hardware, like my Apple Mac Mini is able to run this on a Llama, uh, and also like standard GPUs or even your laptops going forward, which is easy to do. Uh, and there, uh, and maybe I'll come up with a video on how to use it on a Llama next. Let's dive deep and here's how it works. So the teacher model, the big, para the big model with 671 billion parameter, uses chain of thought reasoning to generate a detailed example of how it solves a problem and answers the question. So these examples are then provided as prompts to the student model, which is trained to replicate the teacher's reasoning and accuracy. So this enables the student model to develop similar high level reasoning capabilities. Uh, a surprising discovery from this paper is that during this reinforcement learning, the smaller student model actually outperforms the larger teacher model on certain tasks. Uh, and it does so while using only fraction of the memory in computer resources required by the original. And also I'm working on a new model on fine tuning, which is where how you give enough data for you to fine tune. But this paper actually has made me given new thoughts about how can we build that fine tuning model with right prompts and reasoning as well. In the end, the deep seek R1 results are very incredible with these distilled models. Uh, they are outperforming even some larger models like GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 y Sonnet uh, in areas like math, coding, and scientific reasoning. What does this mean? Basically, this breakthrough essentially democratizes AI by cutting, by making the cutting edge reasoning and capabilities available to researchers, startups, uh, and as well as individuals with limited resources who can build, use that, those models on their own PCs. So if you are curious, uh, the paper dives deep into this process as well, and you can even experiment with DeepSeq yourself. So I'll put the link below for the GitHub, as well as I'm gonna make a video on how I'm using it with my Mac Mini. The next section, I want to talk more about why DeepSeq R1 is a true underdog story. So why does this matter? Uh, why, is it, uh, why is it making such a big statement in the, as a technical achievement? Firstly, it proves that you don't need billions of dollars to innovate. This model challenges the domains, dominance of these tech giants like OpenAI and Google, lowering the barriers of entry for smaller players. What makes this story even more inspiring, at least for me, is the open source nature of DeepSeq R1. So anyone anywhere can study on it or improve on it or build upon it. So it's not just an underdog, it's gonna be a catalyst for global collaboration and pushing AI forward together. Um, there are a few things, it's coming out of China and a few other things, but those can be sorted by a small companies who can use this methodology and techniques used in DeepSeq R1. So my closing thoughts are, it's a symbol of what is possible when you combine some geniuses and as well as being openness and keeping it available for public. So it's a proof that you don't need Goliaths or you don't need billions of dollars to come up with the latest uh, technology, even with the AI space. So if this story inspired you, hit the like button and please share this with your friends and also post comments below. I really like when people are following me and reaching out to me on LinkedIn as well. So thank you for all of those. So my question to you is, how do you see AI, AI shaping our future? What do you think about DeepSeq R1? Please put some comments below. Again, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for all those who have subscribed already. So bye again, I'm Ragnar Pitla. I'm excited to share more and learn more about AI together. Bye.